everyone, Miss Patsy here. Today we're studying the fourth grade science book, Energy, Investigation 1, Energy and Circuits, Part 4, Solving the String of Lights Problem. Question, which design is better for manufacturing long strings of lights, series or parallel? Let's get started. For your review, here is a series circuit and here is a parallel circuit. Now let's hook up our two circuits to our power source and see what happens. First, let's try the series circuit. Now, as you can see, it is not very well lit. I will turn off the lights to show you what it looks like. Now let's hook up our parallel circuit to our power source. And as you can see, it's uh, much better in a parallel circuit. And that's what we saw in our previous investigation on series and parallel circuits. But today's question is, what would be better for a string of lights? Say for instance, you're putting up lights on your house for Christmas and you happen to have lights that are hooked up in a series. Like this example. And say for instance, one of the lights burns out. Well, all the lights go out. So that's not a very good system. Let's try the parallel circuit. And say, for instance, one of the light bulbs burns out. Because there are multiple pathways for the electricity to flow, missing one bulb doesn't hurt the string of lights. Whereas in a series circuit, since the electricity only flows one direction, and one path, if the path is interrupted by a missing bulb or a burnt out bulb, which opens the circuit, the whole string of lights doesn't work. Whereas in the parallel circuit, if the bulb is burnt out, the electricity chooses a different path to go. Kind of like the toll road analogy that we used before. If everyone's lined up for a toll road and only one booth is open, every car has to wait in that one line. And if, the, if a car breaks down at that toll booth, then that means nobody else can go through. The toll booth shuts down. But if there are multiple to toll booths, cars can pick which toll booth has an opening and go through it. And that's kind of like what the electricity does. The electricity will pick a path that is open and go through it. And so each toll booth is being used. Whereas even though one toll booth is shut down, the whole system is not shut down. I hope that makes things understandable for you. If you have any questions, post them down below. And until next time, have a great day.